Mr. M presents Rotating Shapes. Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to take a look at how we can rotate uh, a shape a certain number of degrees around a main point. To do this I'm going to need a couple of tools. Really crucially I'm going to need a ruler or perhaps a compass. They'll do the same thing for you in this case. And I'm definitely going to need this guy, the protractor. But without my protractor, I really can't do this activity with this particular strategy. So I've got to have one of those with me at all times. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to create a rotation. Now, a rotation is how something moves in a circular fashion. So basically, it's a, a rotation is any round movement where uh, something changes position but in a round way instead of in a straight line sort of way. So what it's going to be happening is I'm going to be taking these points here, A, B, C, and D, in my pre-image, and I'm going to be rotating them around this point here, 0, 0. We're going to use the center of our grid for this particular activity, and I'm going to be rotating them uh, 90 degrees. I'm going to start with 90. It's one of the easiest rotations we can do. There will be other ones that will be a little trickier, but if you can get this idea, you'll be able to sort of get through the other ones without too much difficulty. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from one of my points. I can start anywhere I want, but I'm going to start with A, just to keep it alphabetical, from the shape directly into the middle area here that I'm going to rotate around, the zero, zero point. So I've drawn this line straight from A to zero, 0, Now I need my protractor. So I'm going to get my protractor out. I'm going to line up my protractor so that the zero line is along the line I just drew. And the center of my protractor is right here at the middle point, okay, that I'm rotating around. And I'm going to measure, sorry, wrong line here. I'm going to measure... Got to make sure I get the right thing here. Ninety degrees. So I'm going to measure a ninety degree line. And if I'm in my using a I don't know a pencil or something like that, I'm going to make a little hash mark right here along ninety degrees. Okay. Now I'm going to move my protractor out of the way. I'm going to continue that line straight into the middle line until I have roughly a 90 degree angle here. Let's see if I was able to do it accurately. I'm kind of concerned that I was off a little bit. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It could be a little better. I'm going to just move it up a tiny bit, and that's going to be a little better. Let's check it now. Pretty good, pretty good. Now the only problem is, is that I need to put my new A somewhere along this line. But the question is, where do I put it? Do I put it down here close to the zero point? Do I put it far away? So that is where my compass or my ruler comes in. I need to ensure that this new line that I've just drawn right here is the exact same length as this line right here. And the best way I can do, probably for most cases, is I can actually measure. So I'm going to get my ruler here. I'm going to measure this first line that I had. And by this ruler's measurement, it's just a little more than 8 centimeters. So I'm going to bring this here. Ooh, that's touchy. Whoa, buddy, whoa. Very gentle here. And I'm going to bring my ruler down here. And I'm going to extend this line to just a little over 8 centimeters, right about there. And that is going to be my new point A. Now, as you guys probably can remember, if you've been watching the videos, I'm not allowed to call it point A all by point A self. What do I have to call it? I have to say point A1 because this isn't my original pre-image, this is my first image, so that's going to be point A1. 
Now I'm going to repeat the process for the other three points. Now it might be helpful in this case to delete these lines. I don't need them anymore and they kind of bulk up, they sort of mess up my image. As long as I've plotted my point properly then I can figure it out. So now I'm going to go to point B. Same thing, I'm going to draw a straight line right down through there. And I'm going to use my protractor at 90 degrees. And I'm going to find a spot for a new line here. Along 90. And then I've got a measure. And this one, I don't know if you can see, but it's right over here. It's about 9.5. So I'm going to bring it down here alongside of this line, try and straighten it out a bit. There we go. And I'm going to say it's about 9.5. So I just need to extend my line a little bit more. I was pretty good. Almost there. And I can move my tools out of the way. And I'm going to plot a new point right here. That's going to be point B1. Okay, so now I'm getting there. Point A1, point B1. Once again, I'm going to get rid of these lines. I don't need them. They're going to confuse me if I'm not careful. I'm going to go to point C. And reflect that line 90 degrees. There it is. about there move this and check okay, it's almost six centimeters so I'm gonna change that around to almost six About six, right about here. Move my tools. That was point C. And now, of course, I have to call it C1. And as you can see, I, you guys who are really sort of noticing can probably see that I'm pretty much here, that I could probably pretty much place my last point just by looking. But just to be as accurate as I can, I'm going to do the last one. D, one last job with the protractor, okay, and I'm going to take this last line, place it along here, I'm going to say it's about here, move that tool for the last time, bring this one over, Place that here. My line is about 3.5. So I'm going to make sure that this one is also 3.5, give or take. Oops. Here's the ruler. It's a little long, so I'm going to shorten it up to about here. Get rid of my tools. Plot my new point. And it's going to be D. And it's going to be D1. All right now, the test will be when I connect my dots. So, as I see in my original shape, A connects to B, B to C, C to D, and D to A. Let's get rid of these lines so we don't get confused about them. Okay, so let's look and see. As I connect my dots, 
A to B, B to C, C to D, B to A. Okay, so my shape looks pretty good. It looks to be about the same. I can check by just doing a simple rotation. Let's bring it up here and see. Does it look the same? Yep, worked out nicely. So where was it? Down here. And about here, if I'm not mistaken. And there is a rotation. Now, how can I check and see if I did okay? Well, basically what I should see is I should see that my points rotated about 90 degrees. So... When I look at A, I notice that A rotated about a quarter of a circle down. Sort of a quarter of a circle arc right here. So from A, an angle, down to A. B, in that same angle, down to B. D, in that same angle, down to D. And so on. Now, there's a bit of a cheat I have when I'm measuring with 90 degrees, and that's that uh, this shape, if we want to look, uh, this point A is 2, 6, and the new point A is going to be negative uh, 6, negative 2, right? So there's going to be a, some similarity between the points, but that's really only something you're going to only see when you are using 90 degree angles. The main thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you, when you connect your point, to the rotation point and you push it out do you have a 90 degree angle if you do and you've made sure that your lines are equal length so you're always equal distances from that zero point then you know that you have the right rotation all right good luck you can try some on your own happy rotating